Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra, April 30th, 2022. The sun heads into your solar eighth house today, and will travel through this sector of sharing and intimacy for a month, until May 20th. There can be a stronger focus on emotional or material support in your life, power dynamics in close relationships, and personal development within. You crave deeper connections to people or projects in the weeks ahead. You have the chance to make lasting improvements to your life by going deep. It can be an excellent time for exploring a particular topic of interest in more depth. Your private world assumes more importance, and you notice the hidden elements of circumstances and people around you. Today, however, you might come to a satisfying agreement on broader issues with a significant someone. If your lover and or romantic interest has been hogging the spotlight of your life as of late, things are about to change for the better. This is especially true when considering the sun's shift into centrally driven Taurus and your intimate eighth house of mergers, shared resources, and collaborations today. Have you been depending on the opinions of others when it comes to a particular decision? The moon's shift into Aries and your communication sector will enrich your mind with new perspectives, some of which may require you to put in work. But if the love is worth the squeeze, then, you know what to do. How can you stabilize your financial transformation? Today, the sun leaves your opposite sign and enters Taurus, beginning a fiscally focused astrological season. Taurus season is the time to ambitiously work on your investments, loans, funds, and assets. You may feel more stable by paying off debt and adjusting the loans that you have. Now could be the time for you to solidify your retirement plan, like committing to a fund. Sales, mergers, and other lucrative opportunities could arise through work. Regardless of what happens, take a slow and steady pace when considering your options. A lot of activity could be taking place in your neighborhood today. If you live in a major city, perhaps a movie or a news event is being filmed nearby, and the crowds are gathering. Don't be too shy to go out and see what's going on. If you don't live in a major city, this could be something as innocuous as new power lines being installed. Either way, expect a lot of excitement. Enjoy your day. Your open manner is reflected in your private life, taking pleasure in talking to new friends and exchanging points of view. Your friendly attitude could turn spontaneous chats into long-term friendships. Your family is very satisfied with these changes and enjoys your positive charisma. No matter how clearly you articulate what you're looking for, no one seems to understand. Why don't your friends see what you see? And why is it taking so long for someone who meets your standards to come by? Connecting with those people you admire most, you cannot help but make it obvious you fancy them. Your honesty and charm provide you with a pleasant naturalness that helps you succeed and you flirt in this way. Your tenderness and sensitivity lets you get away with this direct approach and make headway. Don't take no for an answer today. Know what you believe in and stick with it. There is a distinct advantage in holding true to your inner nature. Don't let others throw you off course with their views of how things should be done. Be confident and don't worry about taking things over the top. There is no such thing as excess on a day like today. The more the merrier, should be your motto. Use the energy of this day to look for unconventional ways of handling things. This can open up whole new possibilities for you. This vibration enhances your ingenuity and, given enough time to approach things in a creative way, you may even surprise yourself. You are one of the most inventive personalities there is, anyhow. Allow the effects of the energy to see you make even greater strides. Be sure to brainstorm with others if you hit a block. Just days before Venus and Jupiter are due to return to your relationship sector, the moon not only wraps up its monthly visit but will spend its final hours here aligned with the dwarf planet Eris, the warrior princess of the cosmos. After banking the reality checks from the sun's recent visit and with a new starting point, the moon can fuel your emotional and passionate responses in a way that brings a reminder of what you are fighting for when it comes to what you want from your relationships and what they need from you. Just three days before Venus, 
The planet of love is due to return to your relationship sector. The moon wraps up its monthly visit, leaving you more emotionally engaged than just a few days ago. This is something you need to hold on to ahead of Venus return just as the stars align to bring the spirit of romance and adventure together. Our eyes in the sky. In the early morning and evening, the moon forms square aspects to Mars and Venus, respectively, bringing an abundance of healing energy. Use this time to reconnect with yourself and the things you desire most. This is also a good time to acknowledge your strengths and jettison any feelings you have of unworthiness. The good vibes continue throughout the evening as the moon forms a mostly helpful aspect to Venus, softening up the frustrations caused earlier by Mars. This cosmic atmosphere can bless us all with a healthy dose of optimism. While you might be acutely aware of any past mistakes, there is an opportunity to learn from them, which will help you in your future endeavors. If you feel as though your personal goals have hit a roadblock or setback, take a moment to remember how far you've come and how strong you are. As the witching hour draws near, the moon brings love in all its forms to center stage. Find ways to connect with the people or projects that fill your heart, and don't forget to say nice things to yourself and the people you care about. After midnight, the Aries moon squares off with Mars and Pisces, stimulating a need for freedom. We want to run from our problems and checking out emotionally seems like the easiest way to avoid doing what must be done. Yet rather than solving the problem at hand, disassociation leads to irritability. We might take our frustrations out on those who we are closest to because we assume our loved ones have the bandwidth to hold space for even our most irrational feelings. Be mindful that we are at the mercy of our passions now, and our behavior can hurt others if we are not careful. In the evening, the moon trines Chiron in Aries, facilitating healing. Old wounds are stimulated, yet we take stock of them from a big-picture perspective. In the past, moments of doubt and insecurity have caused us to question our uniqueness or wonder if our goals truly matter. However, we now recognize that we have been brought to this present moment by virtue of the struggles we have faced. Our hardships should be celebrated rather than scrutinized, because they have made us the person we are today. 